there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. Greatest battle of all time. Fero the Ferocious versus Underdog. But Underdog, weary already from other battles, seemed no match for the world's mightiest beast. vitamin pill. And as Sweet Polly Purebred looked closely at the ring, Underdog pushed the hidden button which opened the ring's secret compartment. The Underdog Energy Vitamin Pill. Here, Underdog, take it quickly. Gulp. My energy now is restored, you see. And Firo the Ferocious is no match for me. <laughs> car, so come out, come out, wherever you are. With Firo the Ferocious unconscious, the anchor chain from the ship was used to bind him securely. Then Underdog carried him aboard for the trip home. And soon everyone was watching the premiere of the new TV series, Beauty and the Beast. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you now the new wonder of the world. Firo the Ferocious! Don't worry, ladies. Firo is tightly chained. And now watch as our own beauty, sweet Polly Purebred, feeds the mighty monster. Breaking loose! 
Just grab Sweet Polly. The monster is free. Hero the Ferocious was free. A monster loose in the city. And he held Sweet Polly in his clutches. Where was Underdog? And how could he possibly stop Hero without endangering Sweet Polly? There is nerve-wracking excitement ahead in our next chilling episode. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Two little Indians, no others near. Colonel, he vows these two soon disappear. Fighting the army blue soldiers galore. What can two Indians do? Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Here comes the colonel with his sergeant. Both are roaring and a charging. Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. Sergeant, I've just received a telegram from General Newsom's. He says those two gopher Indians have to be captured alive immediately. Captured alive? <laughs> but, Colonel, we... We've already tried just about everything. Obviously, Sergeant, you've never played football. We're going to use football tactics. We're going to tackle them. 14, 22, 63, 87. I'm going to get the Colonel coming to the prisoner. The prisoner, hell. Colonel going to capture us without them guns, without them swords? Uh, How him do? Hey, we got a plan. Give him a tackle. Give him a tackle. You got him plan? Uh, a dummy. I'm going to a bonk, bonk. <laughs> oh, we make them dummies. Fool, Colonel. <laughs> Good idea. You am genius. Whoopie doopie. Colonel never no difference. Now, light them campfire and watch them fun. <laughs> Quiet, Sergeant. Shh. There they are, around the campfire. Get ready. Don't you think we better scout around first? Nonsense. I'm calling the signals here. 22, 64, 83, Charge! <coughs> hey, Colonel, these are nothing but wooden dummies. Colonel? Oh, take that! Colonel! And that! Colonel! And this! Co Colonel! Hmm? Colonel, begging the Colonel's pardon, these, these are just dummies. They, they're carved out of wood to fool us. Now we put them on edge of cliff and watch Colonel make big flying tackle. <laughs> Shh, Sergeant. There they are around their campfire. Are you ready? Begging the Colonel's pardon, but. What if they're just dummies? Just dummies? Don't be ridiculous, Sergeant. We left the dummies back there. These are the real Indians. Follow me. 36, 22, 34. Yeah! Chop, chop! Oh, we build them fire on this side of bridge, mm. then go back, and when Colonel cross bridge, chop, chop! Whoopie mm. doopie! You am um, genius! Now then, there's their campfire, Sergeant, on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, but, uh... What about those two Indians on this side of the bridge? Dummies, Sergeant. Dummies. They can fool me once. They can fool me twice. But they can't fool me three times. 
Follow me. Now who's the dummy? Hex. Did I ever tell you about the most famous football game by Hex? I believe so, Commander, and... We were playing the top team in the nation. Outweighed us three to one, and their line was a solid wall of steel. In spite of the great odds against us, we managed, through my superior brain, don't you know, to hold the Blighters to a single field goal for three points. Their solid steel line took a tremendous toll on our men. Finally, I was left alone in the game, and the Blighters were leading three to zero. End of the last quarter, I and I alone had the ball. What in the world did you do? Hiking the ball to myself, I quickly tossed a high forward pass. While all eyes of the opposing team followed the ball into the air, I sneaked swiftly through the line and caught the ball in the end zone. We won the game six to three. It sounds, Commander, as though you really had a ball. Quite. Polly Purebred was in the clutches of Hero the Ferocious, the world's mightiest monster. Help! Underdog! Where, oh, where has my underdog gone? Oh, where, oh, where has he gone? Hey, uh, you! Uh, give me a shine and make it a good one. Yes, sir, Mr. Riff Raff. My underdog gone. I'm sorry, Mr. Raff. I must run along. Hey, listen. Hey, you either finish my shine, or you'll be shining up the sidewalk with your hand. Oh, woe is me. I dare not thrash these hoodlums for fear of exposing my true identity as underdog. But sweet Polly needs me. Indeed she did. But so did the entire city. Bring on! Oh, a monster! The entire city police force was on the job. We can't shoot, Chief, or we might hit Sweet Polly. You're all right. In this case, looks too big for us. Better have all cars search for underdog. There you are, sir. Your shine is all finished. Hey, you mooch! How does this shine look? Terrible, boss, terrible. Now start over, shoe shine, and this time, do it right. I must think of a plan to get away without exposing my true identity. Meanwhile, Hero the Ferocious stalked through the city, stepping on houses, knocking over tall buildings, picking up trains as if they were toys, and now, military forces had joined the police. Glad to have you, General. We still haven't been able to locate Underdog. Well, we can't wait. 
too many lives at stake. We'll have to open fire. But, General, we might hit sweet Polly. We'll have to take back chance. It's her life against thousands. Bring up the tanks and cannons. Oh, poor, poor sweet Polly. If only Underdog were here. Oh, excuse me, sir. I must answer the phone. Phone? I didn't hear any phone. Uh, might be for you, boss. Uh, okay, Shushan. But don't try to lamb out. And quickly, Shushine stepped into the nearby phone booth and became... Underdog. Well, well, what happened? Where's Shushine? All right, men. When I give the command, open fire. Oh, poor, poor sweet Polly. Ready. Aim. Fire! I am a hero, so your firing is folly. I'll stop Firo and save Sweet Polly. But at any moment, Firo might crush Sweet Polly or drop her to the ground. What could Underdog do? Here you are, Firo. Bananas to eat. I'm sure you'll find them a tasty treat. And as the clever Underdog tossed the bananas, Firo dropped Sweet Polly so his hands would be free to catch the bananas. And Underdog stepped into position and caught Sweet Polly. Oh, thank you, Underdog. But now, what will you do with Firo? I shall take him back to his own island spot. All creatures belong in their own habitat. And so the world's mightiest beast would be returned to his uncharted island, and the world would be safe from Firo the Ferocious. But what new test of strength will Underdog meet? Don't miss our next exciting episode.